I'm David Glass, inventor of the Setrite, distributed exclusively by Sports Imports. Today I'll show you how to assemble your Setrite, which comes out of the box in four modules. The net and target assembly, the two uprights with their telescoping posts, and the U-shaped base. The only tools required to assemble your Setrite are a Phillips screwdriver, a socket wrench with a 716 socket, and a 3-8 socket or a hand wrench with a 3-8 socket. Or you could use an electric screwdriver, not an impact screwdriver, but an electric screwdriver with a 3-8 inch drive. Each of the left and right uprights are keyed with the hole farthest from the wheels toward the middle of the set right's frame. That allows the left one to be put in the correct position and the right one to be put on its side as well. Begin by taking the pre-threaded screws out of the mounting holes, locate the upright over the holes, align the upright over the holes in the base, insert the screws, and use the 3 8 hand wrench or an electric screwdriver to tighten the screws snugly down to the base. Don't use an impact wrench as you can strip the threads out of the U-shaped base. These should not be over tightened. Your set right comes pre-assembled with the screws that hold on the lifting handle and the diagonal braces only finger tight. Loosen each of those screws, set aside the washers and nuts for now. and lift the handle out of the set right frame. Remove the screws from the diagonals and set those aside with the washers and nuts. And lift the frame over to the U-shaped base. With the decals facing you and on the same side of the uprights as the locking pins, Set each post into the telescoping upright, moving it into position so that the holes in each upright align with those in the telescoping upright. Using the bolts on the handle, can be sure that the holes in the telescoping uprights and the holes in the top upright are aligned. Before you install the screws that hold the diagonal braces. Reinstall the washers and lock nuts on the handle and the base of the diagonal braces. And tighten all four with the Phillips screwdriver and the socket wrench. The upper nut on the diagonal brace has been intentionally left slightly loosened to help with alignment of the upright into the telescoping upright. So at this time, tighten the upper diagonal brace nuts just as you did with the lower diagonal brace bolts.
this time, let the net fall through. and tighten the center diagonal screw, which was also left slightly loosened to facilitate installation of the uprights. It uses a 3 8 inch socket and the Phillips screwdriver. Now we can set the angle of the set right's target, first at 45 degrees to use as an example. Grab the pivoting top using the label hold target ring here. Bring the strut down until it's aligned with the 45 degree hole. Put the tab spring clip through the strut and both sides of the upright and lock the tab onto the strut. Do the same with the other side. Lower the net on the back side, and your set right is ready for use. Move your set right into a position adjacent to the net. In this case, next to the left outside hitter. Adjust the height of the set right as you want to by pulling out the locking pins, raising the height adjust handle until the holes are aligned at the height where you want and replace the pins. The pins lock into place and stay to retain the height of the set right. In this case, just above the net. Move a ball cart between the legs of the U-shaped base. Put the net into the cart, and the set right is ready to use.